Yeah. What was that? I will teach you later. It's nighttime here, actually. It's the first time I've done a nighttime on Beautiful Party Girls, and there's a full moon outside the window, so anything could happen tonight. Apologies, it's nighttime, but I went Christmas shopping today, and yeah, went a bit crazy, but I've got lots of presents to wrap, and I'm looking forward to that because I really do love Christmas time. But today's one, um, I was. A lot of people, I ask people to email in and say what they would like me to do tips and tricks about for the Party Girls on Purpose email calendar countdown. Um, I will make it an easier name if I do this next year. But yes, so there was about five things that came in. Money and career, sorry, career and business, relationships, um, money and finances, mindset and confidence. These ones are all the things that keep coming up a lot. So th as we go on, we're on, this is day 11. So we've got, we've got another, I've oh got to count, count now, day 11. We've got another 14 days to go. So I will make sure I'm incorporating those. And please keep messaging in and let me know what you would like to hear about. But today's one, there was a clue at the beginning, is about money and finances. Now, I am a massive consumer of products. I love buying things. Uh, as, my, as the shops realised today when I hit town to get my Christmas presents. If you met my sister, she's the complete opposite. She she is a saver. She has a massive saver mentality. And things that I've learned through personal development is I need to make sure that I manage money, otherwise money is going to manage me. And the more I look after money, the more money is going to look after me. So you have to start somewhere. And this is the easiest tip I can give you, and it's really what I started with. Um, originally, I was told save 10% or, and put, every, put it into, just save 10% everything, every bit of money you've got. I had a plastic bag, money bag. I used to put it in by the side of my bed and have it there. But I, it takes willpower as well. And what I found was, because I could see it and I could count it and it was there and I knew how much was there. When I actually wanted something, like I think one time I needed a, my iPhone, I had an old iPhone and it was playing up and I wanted to buy a new one and I found one on um, Gumtree and it was like going, it was like a really good value and it looked great. So I decided to break into my savings and go and get it. But and I hadn't really built that much up then. And then I felt a bit deflated. And so I was thinking, how can I do this? How can I save and make sure I save until I've got a decent amount? And then I can make then I can make a decision on what to do with it. And 10 percent, I realized, even though I think oh, I can't I've got no money to save. I can't save anything. I realized when I was saving 10 percent, I didn't actually miss it, even though it felt like it could be it wasn't I could it, it was easy to do so I needed someone to put that 10% I didn't trust it in a bank so you can just try I transferred it backwards and forwards so I was thinking I found Ta -da! the money tin this one's got a 50 pound note on it the one I started off with in Australia had a $20 note on the side of it but the golden thing about this is look there's no way to get into it unless you have a can opener and you have to physically open the the tin. So it's the best way to save. You can see there's a little bit in there already. I've already started this one. I'm gonna put it to say, and the way I did it was every time at the end of the day, I get my purse out. This is very worn. I've asked for a new one for Christmas. Um, you get it out and you look in there and you think, well, how much money do I actually need for tomorrow? Because I think if you have more money in there, you're gonna buy coffee or cake or lunch or magazines or crap go into a shop and buy just like a top you're probably never going to wear because you've got excess money in your purse where if you didn't have it in there you just wouldn't think of spending it and I've learned that as I've gone along so I'd go in there I'd find the money that I didn't want to use let me what I've got here well, I've got one pound two pound two pound fifty oh gosh two pound fifty so you pop that in and then if I got bigger money, because I was like, say I was working I was in hospitality, I'd get tip money or I'd get other bits and pieces. I'd get, um, like if I did a catering job or things like that, I'd be getting paid more money. Or if I got a big, I've got a bonus from any of the jobs I was doing and I had notes, I would put notes in there as well. And then sometimes you're like, oh, shall I? But it's amazing. Once it's gone, it's gone. And then it's not there for you to spend. Because if you have the money, you're always, always, always going to find things to spend it on. Whereas if it's gone, it's in there. The more you put in there, the less you actually know what how much is in there. So you can't put a value, you can't think of how much is in there to buy something with. So you, you don't think about, oh, I could have bought, you see a dress, or oh, I could buy that with what's in there. It could be more, it could be less, you don't know. So you don't want to open it just in case it is less, or if it is more, then you've wasted, you know, what you're going to do with the rest of the money. So I used to just shake it, feel how heavy it was, and that was my inspiration to keep it going. But then when it did, the plan is to not open it until you get to the top and you physically cannot get another thing in there. 
My one ends up, I've, I've had a few of them. The very first one I had blew my mind when I first, when I did open it, it had $1,200 Australian dollars in it. The second one had $800 in it. And the very last one I did had uh, $2,300 in it. Once you open it, it's up to you what you do with it. Now you could, some, one time I put it into a savings account. So I decided to use it as save, start out a saving things. Cause I never had a savings before I was living week to week. I never had that comfort blanket, but that's what you need. You need that psychological comfort comfort blanket that you've got money. So you're not living week to week. Once the paycheck runs out, then you're waiting. You know there's money there. It's not for you to touch, but it's there to make you feel secure about money. My new one, my, the last one, I've left one in Australia with my little nephew because I knew I was going to be in England. So this is why I got this one and started it. This one I actually bought off Amazon. Uh, it was only like two two pounds, two pounds ninety nine. So you you probably can get them in wherever you live in the world. You can get one with your own note on there. But the tip is do not have, make sure it's, you can't get into it unless you physically have to open it with a can opener. But it's the best way and do not open it until it gets to the top. And then once you've got that money, you can do what you like with it. I would recommend put it into a bigger savings account. But if not, I one time I one time I did it, what you'll find is you'll get more of a saving mentality there and you'll be more inspired to save. You'll find more money to save and you'll find other ways to save as well, which I have. And I will probably teach you another couple of saving tricks and money making tips between now and the and Christmas day. Um, but yeah, get this going, get this started. One one of them, the 1230, no, sorry, 2300 one I used to go on a beautiful trip to Bali and it was a lovely retreat and that paid for a half, like paid for paid for like all the flights and the place that I was going to which was beautiful so it's up to you but this is a way to get start a saving mentality and start building money and feeling that money build up it's very easy to do it's very cheap to start and it gets you going it gets you in that money mindset and as I say once you start saving and looking after money you'll find other ways to look after money and then money will start looking after you that's it for today. If you have any questions, please call, please not call in. This is not a live TV program. <laughs> please email in or contact me through the Facebook page. Let me know what you're thinking. Let me know what you think about these emails. I had a lovely email from Fiona, I think Natal. She contacted me and said that she had really enjoyed the one about the um, iPods, like making your own confidence iPod list, playlist, making your own um, relaxation playlist and making your own inspiring playlist. So yeah. This is great. I'm really glad you enjoyed that, Fiona. Thank you so much for watching the videos. Please let me know if there's anything else you guys want me to talk about, and I will see you tomorrow. I've th I think it is a full moon. I feel like I'm full of energy and on one tonight, so I'm going to go, <laughs> and I'll see you tomorrow. Have a lovely night. Beautiful party, girls. Keep sparkling.